All right. We gotta have a talk. We have to have a chat. We gotta. We gotta. I'll be brief. I. 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 I absolutely. Uh, blew it. I blew it. I am such a dang fool. I um didn't realize. And it's taken me until now to realize that if you if you do a quest for this guy to hand in tools and this is this is for all mechanics by the way not just this guy um he'll his inventory gear is gets a major upgrade and not only that but he uh, he'll do better upgrades for you i mean th this is obvious right so i've i've gone ahead and made some upgrades to my my weaponry um and uh yeah if you hand in all of the equipment he'll actually i didn't realize this he'll make the the vice free so i didn't have to pay you know whatever i i'm, I'm glad i have the vice i have because it, it's connected to a stash and it makes things very convenient but just just god damn it just just god damn do you have any work you want done pumping station never mind do you have any other work you want done Artifact, clear sky, bandit. Anything else? Great swamp, boat, cemetery, military. Forget that. Advanced tools. All right, well, I'll get you some advanced tools. And, uh, yeah. So, um, I did make the next detector. Uh, that, that much happened. I, uh, I had a look at our recipe. Our recipe book, I was apparently a little bit confused by the recipe book, but it, w it didn't really include all of the things I thought it was including. But that hardly matters now because I basically have all of the recipes that I need, at least for now. Um, I can show you. I've got a survival guide issue one, two, three, and four. And I'll take you, give you a, a quick guide on what that um, gives me access to. We'll have a look here uh no not not their uh, equipment so um here's here's the deal i'm i'm working on getting a tourist backpack i have everything i need i i, I upgraded our my main backpack to a combat backpack um this comes with some unfortunate downgrades but we'll talk about that in a second um and i only need five uh, cloth sheets, five synthetic cloth, sh cloth sheets in order to uh, upgrade to the tourist backpack, which I, I think most people would agree is basically the best backpack. I don't think that there's anything better than that. Um, I don't know, maybe exosuits can get better, but eh. Eh. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> We the the downgrades here. We got our combat backpack here. It actually is a major downgrade. It doesn't hold. I don't think it holds as much as it used to, and the reason is is because in order to upgrade my previous com, uh, backpack to the combat backpack, it meant that I couldn't <clears throat> salvage the upgrades, and I couldn't figure out if there was even any way I could salvage the upgrades. Like I was really trying to puzzle it out and and figure out the best way to do it and. Um, you know, see if, oh, you know, can I, can I, uh, can I, in fact, you know, do this in a way that I would be able to get our upgrades back. And I don't think so. I kind of think that it's, oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, I kind of think it's meant to, um, you know, like, well, maybe I could have, you know, there's a, a possibility. But I figured um, we're getting to the point where upgrades uh, or like maintenance kits are becoming commonplace enough that I, I could just like go ahead and do it and i'd rather get to the last um uh backpack than you know the be the best um, backpack before um i'm going the wrong way to garbage to military checkpoint what this is to military what uh this is the garbage I, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna, let's just, let's just fast travel. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna upgrade, I'm not gonna get any upgrades or put any upgrades on my current backpack until I turn it into a, um, I don't know, I can't remember what it's called, tourist backpack or something. Anyway, once I have made that upgrade, then, um, I should be able to hold a lot more stuff 
and uh, it's it's gonna be like the best case scenario it could, probably i'll be able to hold up to 150 kilo uh, uh, 150 kilograms right now i think i can only hold 100 which is a major downgrade from where i was which was like 120 or something um all of the upgrades that i was able to add to my backpack were i think combined about 20 kilograms so it is kind of a major um downgrade but I think that this is worth it, and I think that I'm at the stage where it, it is worth doing something like that in order to, you know, make a major upgrade rather than uh, incremental upgrades. Um, but yeah, we're at 72 of 100 kilograms, and yeah. I also did make some bullets. I did quite a lot of uh, management. Ooh, my, my friends spooked me there a little bit. Uh, I made a number of major upgrades for our uh, equipment. You are a friend, right? Yes. Cool. I like the rain right now. It's, uh, it's nice. Look at all the friends we have here. These guys are, are freedom, I believe. Wow. Uh, any work you want done? You want some snork legs? Uh, never mind. Um, you guys need to quit shoving me i'm getting tired of that don't have anything okay what about you bud got anything sorry nothing what about you you want something nothing what about you nothing okay well whatever um we're just here for the stash honestly we have a ak-103 camouflaged that's interesting uh and a military service outfit i can't tell if this would actually be better than what we're using it uh, has improved weight carried at its current st state i don't know like it's it's kind of hard to tell um i do think that the like the i i kind of wish that the conditions were better like you could tell um what the condition of it is at like full maybe this is maybe if i hold alt or something um that's gonna eat up a lot of my space so i'm really not sure um about that i don't care about this taz 34 um i'm sure it's nice but i don't care about it i kind of care about this um ak-103 sort of but I don't know. I don't really need or want another project, you know? It does do slightly more damage, but it uses 762. I might just take it to, um, like, repair it and see if I can't sell it for a nice chunk. But it's going to be the first thing I disassemble if I run out of room. So there's quite a, th a few things to do here. Um, there's a stash way over there. Um, we could go there first. There's another stash here in the stalker base. We might as well do that next. Um, I guess, I guess we could go northeast first. It doesn't matter, but you know, yeah, let's head northeast. We got some, we got some nice lightning. Probably going to run into a mutant. I have, uh, a friend of the channel, Imatan, has been giving me some helpful tips for um, surviving the zone. Some of the stuff that's like more advanced, like I, I don't know if I would have ever discovered some of these things by myself, but I am, I am grateful that honestly I struggled um, a little bit before um, you know to, to find out some of the things. It does make for a more enjoyable experience sometimes, and then other times it's just like, well, I, I guess I would rather I just knew that. So we have an ecologist. Hello, friend. I do like the ecologist. I think if I was going to roleplay a faction, it would probably be the ecologist. They want a stone flower artifact. Never mind. Have anything to sell? Oh, you actually do. You have a weapon mechanism upgrade kit advanced. Sure, let's buy that. Do you want any of my stuff? No, you don't. So I'll just buy that. I, th I think I can actually use that. I'm pretty sure it's the advanced toolkits that always end up being like the hardest to obtain for me personally. 
<laughs> I saw that bird flying so low. I was like, I could definitely shoot that. But then my gun, my, my shotgun was out of ammo. That's really funny. Okay, um, we're gonna have to deal with some radiation. By the way, it didn't, you know, completely fly by my radar that I did pick up some gunsmithing tools for free. So, um, I guess I didn't have to buy them. But then again, I've been making quite a lot of ammo. Pretty sure there's an anomaly, like, right here. But I think the stash is, like, right here. It's really hard to tell sometimes. I'm trying desperately. Sometimes you just gotta, like, mash the keyboard. Hit, hit F. I know it's here. I, I know it's here. You can't hide from me forever. Come on. Oh, am I an idiot? I am an idiot. Okay. <laughs> I am a complete and utter buffoon. Okay. That's pretty funny, actually. All right, let's let's uh, let's move on from that. Uh, and I'm just going to fast travel back to the factory. I'm not going to be too proud about it. Oh, look at that. It is now no longer raining. Also, free free case of stuff. Always nice. I wonder if it that drained my battery fast traveling with the light on that'd be that'd be a bummer Okay, we got another stash in this base. It might be outside the base we Got some more friendos over here You're clear sky, right? What do you want boar fangs have anything else? No Got anything to buy? You got a radio. I do like radios. Um, they're good for parts. What about you? You want flesh hides. What about you? What do you got? Deliver the package to Duty in Rostock. I could do that. Not a, not a difficult job. Any other work you want done? No? Yo, that looks like a tasty sausage. Can I have that? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna buy a, a sausage. It's usually worth buying food from, like, rando stalkers in the wild, because it's always gonna be cheaper. Okay, we have another stash here. Is it gonna be up in the tree? Kinda feels like it might be. I'm not seeing anything here. And I, I did kind of embarrass myself by uh, mashing the key. Okay, well, um, let's see. Let's, uh, I think I have to jump down from, like, the roof to that pipe. I'm going to do a quick save just to, just to be sure that this isn't a mistake. Seems Stalker has made some powerful enemies from what I hear here. Uh, the plan to search for him at next in Agriprom, west of the nor northern complex. I wonder if they're talking about me. Sure hope not. Okay. Who are we shooting at? Um, all right. Well, we'll have a look at that in a second. Kind of hoping this isn't too much of a drop. Oh, that was dumb. All right. Let's, let's try that again. All right. Let's, let's do like a run. There we go. It's not too far. Kind of assuming. There it is. Look at that. I was actually right about something. I need to kind of climb up in the tree a little bit. There we go. Okay, nice stuff. Good stuff in here. Bunch of parts. Convenient. All right. Um, 
Jump down from there. Where to next? I kind of want to grab some of these stashes near the military base. I know there's one inside the base. If we cleared out the entire base, we could consider doing that, but I don't... I really don't think any stash could be worth that. Maybe if it had advanced tools, I guess. Because then we could give that to our friend. Uh, how's our weight doing? Our weight is not good right now. I really think I should just disassemble some of these things. I'm going to go ahead and disassemb disassemble this uniform. We got a package. I think that's the package I have to deliver to Rostock. Then we also have field equipment case. These could be very valuable. They might also have some very valuable stuff in them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit curious about that for sure. I know I did a, a cheat earlier in the series where I... Uh, Opened up a, basically a gotcha box and then loaded because I didn't like the results of what I got. And uh, I know that's in bad form. I still kind of feel bad about that. But at the same time, it's like... At, I think at the time I had like no money. Really like zero wiggle room for uh, making decisions like that. So I probably should have just sold the thing in question. Life can be awfully short in here. Sure can. So I am a little bit worried about this uh, helicopter. Monolith is something you can't understand, something you wish to destroy out of primal fear, but we understand it. We know what's it, what it's capable of. We can save the world. We need you to help us. Together we can change the future of whole humanity. <laughs> and then there's just a stalker yelling obscenities a little bit worried that um this helicopter is going to start shooting on us what oh god what stalker would want to put stuff in here Okay, chat, uh, not chat. Lads, we need to leave. We're not taking on a military base. Ouch. Lads, ouch. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have to s s wait in place for a moment while I run to a tree. I can't get to the stupid tree. Ugh. Uh, bandage. Bandage, please. Um. Don't know where the helicopter is. Y'all need to get back over here. No, but like for real, you guys need to get back over here. I'm not messing around. I'm not messing around with this. I was tempted, honestly, to go into the sewer. Uh... Very grateful that the thing didn't hit me just now. You know what? Screw it. Let's go into the sewer. All right. We can hide out down here for the moment. Just have listening. It's been a while since I've been down here. I don't think that there's... I don't think that there's really anything for us here. Like, yeah, we could loot some stuff, and yeah, there's some mutants we can kill, but like... For real, I, I don't think that there's much benefit 
And there's so many things that can just like instantly kill us down here that it's hardly seems worth it, including this thing, by the way. That thing is just a hard kill. Fortunately, my friends are not affected by it, so I can just kind of glitch around it. Bunch of stuff down here. I don't know why I'm like fully exploring this place. It's creepy. Gives me the creeps. Not as much anymore. Mostly because I have like very good equipment now. Oh, you know. Good enough. I know that's my friends, but it, it still scared the absolute crap out of me. Uh, friend, are you okay? What are you aiming at? I am contemplating just like fast traveling to Rostock. Me as well. That's where we are uh, we got the Strelok stuff. Memories, all kinds of memories. There's really, uh, I don't know, this, this place feels kind of tedious now. Boring, almost. Good God. Don't be doing that. I don't know what's up with my friends. They're just kind of hanging out in one area. They don't seem to, you know, interested in helping me as they usually do. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's take care of our encumbrance problem for a moment. Um, most of what's taking up space is are these steel boxes, which I should open. Uh, oh, you know what? We can we can uh, get rid of this taws. I don't really need this. We are like five kilograms overweight right now. We have a gish. I don't know what a gish does. Um. Mm, yeah, I don't know. We got a lot of stuff that I simply cannot uh, drop. I could drop some of these extra barrels. We don't need like this barrel. Oh. Hello. Hello, friends. You have decided to join me. That's nice. I'm glad. You know, it's uh, good to have company down here. Um, I don't think I have anything to cook, but I'm going to drop this cooking kit, which sucks because can't actually use them. Uh, drop a battery that has no charge in it. Drop a couple of these things that are basically destroyed. I don't want to drop these Kevlars because they actually are useful even at very low condition as they are. Uh, might drop this tulip scope. I like a tulip scope, but... Uh, did we get any synthetic uh, cloth? I'm not sure where to get synthetic cloth. I, I think that maybe we have to disassemble something specific. I don't know what. We could disassemble this old headlamp. This is now me doing inventory management. Not sure what I can get rid of. There's not really a lot. Just throwing some... Uh... We could get rid of these magazines. This has got 919. Can I actually use that 919? I'm gonna dump these magazines of the ammo at the very least. Oh, we got uh, 762.39. I could, well, I, you know, that's that's actually worth pretty good money. This is an AK-103 magazine. We'll drop some of these magazines, it's fine. And I'll drop the tulip. Sucks, those are worth money. I don't like doing that, but it is what it is. You gotta, you gotta make concessions occasionally. 
Um, we got these metal bottles. Those are taking up quite a bit of room, but, um... Portion of what seems to be zone-produced vodka. Well, I'd prefer to keep the vodka. We got this sparkling water. Um, uh, I don't know, I'll just drink that, whatever. Okay, we're getting there. We need to try to shed three more kilograms. I, I guess we're not really getting there. Um, hmm. I don't know. Could drop a couple of these barrels, but they're actually not taking up as much room as you'd hope. This, I keep uh, carrying the skeleton key. Um, we could use it to open up one of these field equipment cases. Honestly, let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's open up a, one of these cases because they probably are like I know it doesn't make sense But they'll probably take up less room when I open them up Your picks are insufficient to open this box. Wow. I have quite a lot of lockpick. Okay. Well, let's see. We'll use our skeleton key I know that's probably a waste of the skeleton key. I understand that Don't uh, don't worry about it So we got military binoculars. Those are nice We've got a titanium grid, that's whatever. And an improved uh, surge protector, that's actually quite quite nice. Oh, and two Kevlar armor inserts. That's... Eh, mm, I think I'd actually rather disassemble these. I know that doesn't make sense, but um, I do have some Kevlar. I've got some improved Kevlar kits, and I'd rather have the Kevlar that those kit, um, Kevlar kits are made of. Because I can actually use that to repair repair my uh, my armor, or potentially upgrade some armor uh, that I find in the future. So that's nice. What is this downgrade? You can downgrade a weapon mechanism kit, suit armor upgrade kit. My dude loves to just like lock and load his uh, shotgun. Honestly, I'm just grateful for the peace right now. It's just, you know, it's much more peaceful down here at this point than it is up on the surface. Okay, uh, we can drop this barrel. Tempted to... We can't disassemble the bi military binoculars. I bet you they're worth a pretty penny, though. Why don't we try and unlock this padlock steel box? I'm just saving. And we'll unlock this pad padlock box. It didn't even cost us very much. We got industrial grease, small stack of rubles, bandage, nothing really exciting. We got a 9mm uh, suppressor, which I don't even think is compatible with our gun. Small stack of rubles. Can we just count them up? Oh, so it just gives us a little bit of money. Nothing too exciting. Nothing, nothing too exciting here. Um... Well, I'll continue to disassemble some stuff. And, uh... I do want to keep this box, obviously. Could drop the suppressor, but... You know, that's it's not taking up very much space. Neither do most of these components, though, is a thing. I'm actually contemplating dropping some of our equipment, like surgical instruments. We could use one of these. Males will use them. We actually can use them. And then I'll uh, go ahead and use a kit to uh, make that a permanent health upgrade. There we go. All right, How, what are we at now? Still, still need to drop a kilogram, okay. God damn it. Oh, we're, we're actually okay now. I'm not getting the, the weight restriction anymore. Cool. So why don't we go ahead and fast travel then? We are, we're hearing crows. That generally means that um, a blowout is about to happen. I've agreed to take care of a stalker for the barkeep that's in the valley. Dark valley. Oh god, it's that same stupid bandit camp again. I think I'd rather do anything else right now. I think I'd rather go to the army warehouses. So why don't we go ahead and travel to the bar. 
and uh we'll ha we'll, we'll hand in a couple of deliveries i i gotta i have to um deliver a package to someone here in in rostock and uh and then we can check out the army warehouses i don't think i've actually gone there yet i might be wrong about that but it's all starting to blend together just a little bit i think our helmet is actually good to go it has been a couple of days um and i've just you know i've just been kind of bumming around doing doing whatever let me do a jump cut to our uh delivery all right hey bud 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 hey man i got something for you four thousand nice uh gather russian brand of cigarettes five for wanderers oh i i had the i had the cigarettes for him um i didn't realize that that was what i was giving him you want dog hearts jesus okay got anything to sell okay oh, i didn't realize that that was uh the quest i was handing in this is the dude maybe that has the package job is done gather russian brand oh i see i delivered one package to one person and then they gave me cigarettes that i was then handed in to someone else 550 rubles really that hardly seemed worth it honestly like never mind the cost of the cigarettes the top the cost of my time and like carrying this business around i gotta i always have to check out unknown enemy i am infinitely curious in unknown en enemy oh i can't go through here they're gonna kill it before i get to see it man I hate Rostock. I hate how, how confusing this place is. I say it uh, probably way too often, but it sounds like it's dead. Yep. Yeah, it's dead. Destroy the mutant. Well, there's still a mutant to kill. And I'm still going to check out, um, I can check out the body of the unknown enemy, whatever it is, so that, uh, you know, it gets added to my, my PDA. Apparently the, there's a lot of information in my PDA. Like we can look at the guide and this will tell us all kinds of stuff. Also, there's something, there's something about achievements that give us different things things unlocked articles levels visited only 11 of 33 really your mind has numbed to the whispers and you no longer fear the approach of emissions or size storms at times their arrival even brings you peace so i've gotten two achievements believing that every part counts you cannot help but break down junk into more useful components after much experience, you have become more precise. Waste not, want not. So these are the achievements I've gotten. I don't know how to, you know, I don't know if I can find out about other achievements and what I'd have to do to get those. And, you know, that's fine. Um, I think that that's fair. Mac our goodwill with free stalkers is maximal and with clear sky is maximal what, I wonder what my rank is. Oh, yeah, I've got quite a nice rank Okay, well it looks like we've got another hand in down here Um. Hey my dude Thank you the job is done. 8,000. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> is there any work you want me to do? Recre retrieve the encrypted documents in Yantar. <clears throat> sure. I know that Yantar is quite uh, the spicy location, but we're going to get there soon enough. Is there any other work you want done? You want cat, cat th thyroid glands? You want Nightstar artifact? Nothing. Okay. Um, what do you have to sell? You do have a jury rigged exoskeleton power supply. Eventually I am going to probably do an exoskeleton, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm good for now. I'm not in a rush. Wait, 
I may have some information to sell. I found a PDA. There you go. Thanks. 1200 huh? Uh, that's not not a lot. We have enough. We have over 50000 That means I'm probably going to buy another hidden route. From Lomansk to Dead City. We've got a bunch of locations like to Dead City. Um, Great Swamp to Clear Sky Hidden Path. That's a bit expensive for me. I, I know that this guy over here... I, oh, we still have our stupid lamp on. Oh, man, that almost killed my, my lamp. Um, let's go ahead and put another battery in, in our lamp. I know this guy over here has a route from the war army, our army warehouses to radar. Let's buy that. So do you have the money for it? Yes, here you are. I'd like to buy intel on some uh, routes from radar to the bunker below it from radar to Pripyat so we can actually find out these seem to be more uh, significant routes um, from radar to bunker below it is interesting I am interested in that but I that's a, a bit of a, a you know chunk of change for me right now so I don't want to do that necessarily just yet we'll work our way up to it um, Okay, with that being done, let's um, let's go back to our mobile science lab. What is over? Oh, that's this is Yantar. I did not realize that that was Yantar. Oh, okay. So let's, we're gonna um, collect our helmet. Maybe I'll do a little bit of exploration in Yantar now that I uh, I'll have the appropriate helmet. I am a little bit concerned about our friends. I don't know if they need protection or not. I know that the um, the blowouts, the emissions can, can kill them, but I don't know if uh, environmental, um, like, stuff can kill them. Like, uh, for instance, you know, <laughs> the brain scorcher. I don't know if that uh, kills them dead. I'm kind of hoping it'll be a little less gloomy in Yantar than last time I was here. Whoa. And it is a little, it's, it's pretty sunny right now. It's nice. Cool. Um, all right. So let's, uh, hand in our quest. Whoops. Something is seeing us that doesn't like to see us. Don't know what. I always keep an eye up in that, uh, mini map. Seems like this space is being attacked. Um, all right, so let's hand in a quest here. The job is done. 8,000, anomalous study. That's right, I did an anomalous study. I forgot about that. He took the anomalous measurement device back. Is there any work you want done? Sorry, nothing. Got anything to sell? You've got a Ukrainian combat ration. I bet you that has some nice food in it. For And that's probably a good ch uh, price as well. Make it quick, I don't have want the snorks to catch us having a fat chat. My dude, your mech suit is really getting to me. Yeah. This guy is kind of a pain. Alright, there we go. Um, is it ready yet? Not yet, please come back later. I've come to see you. Splendid, take a look at this new scanner. We use these devices to scan anomalous uh, activities during our scientific expeditions. One of the most interesting anomalies in the zone is a symbiont anomaly found deep inside the red forest. We want the scanner to be installed near that anomaly. It will help us to learn more about its activity. The location is dangerous, but hopefully it won't be an issue for a capable stalker like you. Please install it there for me. Very well, okay. I didn't realize I was getting a, a quest there, but I, he doesn't have my mission for me. Or sorry, my, my helmet. Mission complete, meet with Professor Sakharov. Plant the scanner near the symbiont anomaly. Um, is it ready yet? Not yet, okay. Is there any work you want done? Um, one of our teams went out to perform some anomalous scans but hasn't returned yet. We've tried to contact them but we didn't get any response. When we bought, brought this up with the state security service, they said they can't spare the resources. Okay, sure, yeah, I can do that. Um, any other work? You want cat claws, you want chimera horns, you want burr hands, you want burr hands, you want... Recover the tracking device in the dead city. That seems like an interesting job. Sure. 
purchase hidden routes. He's got some interesting hidden routes. Pripyat radar for 8,000. Radar to lab X8, uh, X19. Cat claw. All of me. Okay. Let me see if you've got anything for sale. And also, I'd like to sell some stuff. If I possibly can. I could sell this um, field equipment case. I don't actually have the means of opening it. Right now, at least. Tempted to sell this titanium grid. Let's just sell it. It's a nice chunk of change. And um, I, uh, I already have a better one. Pretty sure. Could sell the gunsmithing tools. I don't know if people need gunsmithing tools. So the only thing left is, um, I don't want to sell these. I might sell the binoculars. Yeah, I'm going to sell the binoculars. I know that that might upset some people and that's just because, um, the only reason I'm doing it is because I, I basically use my scope if I need to look, you know, far. Um, they have an anomalous anomaly suppression system. Median recharge for, of 60 seconds can only equip one environmental control unit. They've got some interesting stuff, but I don't know how to make use of a lot of it yet. Oh, transmutation module. Device that is installed on detectors and used for artifact fusion. This seems like it could be very important. To switch to artifacts, search mode, open the front LED display when in search mode, the detector is capable of locating all artifacts. I don't know if this device is um, capable of transmutation. I don't... Transmutation module not installed. It says that. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to buy this. Why don't I sell this field equipment case? I, I don't know. It's so tempting to sell this case. Like, I've got the money. I could just buy a transmutation module. Yeah. All right, I'm going to be greedy. I'll, I'll, buy the, I'll buy the transmutation module, and then I'm going to keep this case and try and open it up later. New note, artifact transmutation. Um, all right, so now that I have a note on artifact transmutation, I'd like to see what that's about. I am curious about, uh, I haven't really done much with this artifact finder. The, the reason I uh, updated, uh, upgraded the artifact finder, by the way, is, um, you need better ar up, uh, artifact, like, scanners in order to find better artifacts, if that makes sense. Why are you still... Okay, it's just got him highlighted. I don't know why. Like, certain uh, artifacts only appear if you've got a scanner open and looking for them. Um, and, like, some artifacts will not appear unless you have a good enough scanner to find them. Which, you know, it makes sense. I, I kind of appreciate the system. Um... So we have a anomalous activity scanner, but what I want to do is I want to look in our PDA at um, artifact transmutation, because I am interested in this. Ah, it's got it open right here. Um, as a result of many experiments with artifacts created to facilitate the alteration of their properties through exposure to particles of similar uh, elements. Technological advancements during the experimentation with artifacts properties and internal structures uh, allowed to create this compact prototype which can be attached to your regular artifact detector. The transmutator device database can be updated to cover more transmutations with the recipes you, requi you acquire. It can be attached and removed to your detector for such reason. Scanning. Analyze and displays the artifacts an anomaly can potentially create. Transmutating allows your detector to emit a pulse of particles that activates the artifact's internal properties to mutate and enhance its pro uh, capabilities. 
Keep in mind that these functionalities depend on the artifacts discovered and the detector's capabilities. In most cases, for a successful transmutation, you need to first scan an anomaly, then the list of artifacts will be displayed. Those would be artifacts that you can transmute in that anomaly if you have the recipe. Some recipes are special and require different conditions. Interesting. Um, so, I don't know how to... Um, hmm. Place. Oh, I see. Huh. So we, we put it on the ground. Anom oh, wait, no, sorry. This is for the quest. This is the transmutation module, and we're going to slot that in. All right. And then uh, what does this look like now? I think it's more or less the same. Unequip, remove transmutator. Yeah, well, uh, transmutation is something I, I do want to find uh, find out more about. Um, it's, it's I think it's going to be one of those things I have to struggle with a little bit before I, I do. Um, without the helmet, I can't really do any of this stuff. As soon as I move a little bit north, I start to die. <laughs> um, I can test this theory again and see, you know, what's going on, but uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that'll still be the case. Annoying that I eat food and my dude is still hungry and now he's thirsty because the food he ate made him thirsty. <laughs> Let's eat some beans. I honestly could go for some Heinz beans myself. I haven't had a Heinz bean in a minute, my dude. Heinz beans are pretty good. This stream sponsored by Heinz beans, by the way. They, uh, they put my quote on the back of the tin. It just says, Bimple, Heinz beans are pretty good. Um, all right, so... Pretty sure I'm already under the effect of having my brain scorched. I am very sure that if I go too far, I will just die. Well, it seems to be okay now. My vision is not nearly as gruesome. We have an important figure over there. I'm just uh, trying to figure out transmutation still. Not really getting any anywhere with that. I, I really do have to figure out some stuff. I have not really looked up very much. That's a spooky tunnel, maybe? Hello, friend. A rumor has it you are handy with a file. Can you repair my gear? Oh. How much does this cost? Only 6,000 to repair my gear? That's not bad. Sure. I want to buy some equipment. What do you got? Not a lot. You have a PDA, RF receiver, anomalous measurement device. I wonder if I need an anomalous... Uh, like examination device or scanner to um, like scan an anomaly before I can uh, use it for transmutation. Everything's a little bit fuzzy right now. I'm pretty sure that if I go like, if I keep going this way, I will just die. 
it's not raining right now and yet there is like kind of a rainy effect going on edison anomaly brain's getting fuzzy psi emission levels must be high well i mean that's really unfortunate because that's exactly where i need to go is in there all right let's uh let's let's get out of here So, uh, you know, I, I just don't know what to do next. Um, I guess we, I did promise we would go to the military zone. So we might as well do that. We'll, we'll check out the, um, the army warehouses a little bit. I've never been there myself. There's a few stashes that we need to collect there. Um, and then I'll probably wrap up the episode, but... You know, I've, I've learned a little bit, not a lot. I was really kind of hoping that that um, artifact transmutation guide was going to be a bit more thorough, and it wasn't really. <laughs> it kind of was not, um, but that's okay. That's okay, I will learn. I'll figure it out. All right, we are here where you're going to have to find our way up to the army warehouses. It is quite late. I might, uh, it might be a good idea not to go there now. Or I don't know, maybe it's a good idea to go now. Who, 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 who could say, really? I, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not your dad. You can go if you want to go. No one around to tell me, <laughs> tell you you can't go up to army wear, warehouses at like 7 p.m. I mean, there could be an emission any second now, but, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter. Do what you want. Do what makes you feel good. I will. Let's, let's go check it out. Is that a dog? It is a dog. Free food? Hey, that's pretty good. I'm a fan of that. Nothing like a free meal on the side of the road. Unfortunately, I don't have enough mineral water to purify that second chop. Oh well. Alright, we're gonna see army warehouses, um... I have I've never I haven't been there yet. I'm hoping it's not just all military. I'm pretty sure it's freedom. Like it's mostly the freedom faction. Alright, here we are. Article unlocked. Locations army warehouses. It is quite dark. It's fine. There is a an entire like faction base over here. We could probably sleep there. There's a ton of uh, stashes that we need to collect. Really haven't done all that much, um, like, wandering around in this game at nighttime. Oh, hello. Man, you could have absolutely just, like, destroyed me. And I, I would not have been uh, the wiser. How are you doing? This is duty. Your duty. I thought this place was uh, was a uh, freedom run. Nice thing about uh, not you know belonging to any faction is you can just like kind of wander through. At least you know I don't belong to duty or freedom. At the very least. Got shot at by a monolith at the army warehouse, the southeast of the road to the dead city. This is duty. That guy just died. The guy up on the hill just died. I am absolutely gonna loot that body. There is like a little mini war going on in this zone. 
Hello, good stuff for us. Got a duty patch as well, may as well. Oh, this uh, this gun actually has some really nice stuff. Are these... Uh, if only these were synthetic cloth patches. Well, now he killed the one freedom dude that was just kind of sitting here. <laughs> I'm just kind of like wandering around looting stuff while these guys are having a mini war. Why not, you know? Is that an SKS? That is an SKS. Getting some good components and some ammo. I mean, I, uh, like, you know, realistically, I should not be able to get away with this. Because, like, they would 100% be like, yo, bud, you gotta pick a side. Like, you can't, you can't just be wandering through here. You can't just be wandering through a war, a war zone and, like, happy-go-lucky looting all the bodies. For one thing, that was my friend two seconds ago. For another thing, that's my gun. I lent it to him, like, a week ago. Come on, bud. Alright. I'm probably gonna end the episode in the Freedom Base. If only I could get my endurance back. Save the I'll save the stashes for the next episode. I think uh, I'm running into um, inventory problems. What else is new? You know, I'm always running into inventory problems. How much is this stupid anomalous scanner? Oh, it's taking up two kilograms of space, and I don't know when I'm gonna get to the red forest. It ain't gonna be for a long time. We oh, I guess I overshot it slightly. There's some very strange graphical effects going on in this game. Oh, hello, dead body. What is that? G3A3. That's some nice damage. Uh-oh. I heard something. Okay. Oh, God! Well, it's a dang shame that you guys killed him right after I died. It's also a shame that you guys couldn't have distracted the thing. I don't think that's a chimera. It kind of looked like one, but I think it's a lurker. These things are, you know, there's a fine line. Oh god, how far back is this? Oh, not too bad. I thought it was at the beginning of the level. It's not. Or maybe it is. Uh, it kind of is, actually. Oh, god damn it. Okay, we're gonna take an energy drink. Just so I don't have to worry about... Um... Endurance, for the time being. Man, I picked up some really good stuff. That always sucks. Mm. I always pay the price for not saving constantly. It's like every time I loot a body, I should be saving the game. Whatever. Is that something? Oh god, I'm being shot at. That was pretty clean. Interesting, in SKS, you can keep the rest, my friend. Uh, sounds like the, the freedom dude. Is this Monolith? It's not letting me loot him. There we go. This is Monolith. He has a G3A3. That G3A3 is interesting to me. I don't really have the room to be picking one up right now, but... And he has some synthetic cloth. That's honestly, like, the best thing right now. I guess I will pick it up. 
I guess I'm a dang fool, aren't I? Anything cool in here? No. I, I'm pretty sure I have it so that stashes don't generate anything. Unless, uh, they are literally... You, you have a quest to go and get something from it. So your freedom. So there is a monolith hanging out in the zone. Good to, good to know. You guys gonna help me with the lurker that you're about to be attacked by? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna hurt you. Push back the monolith incursion. Faction monolith location in the army where I was southeast of the road to Dead Dead City. Sure, this is probably a dumb idea, but I'll do it. Is there any work you want done? No. Okay. Got anything to sell? Uh, the chances are very good that this man is going to die before I'm able to complete this job for him. But hey, I will buy your bandages and I will sell you some 762, so... You're welcome. No need to thank me. Um, maybe I should sell some other stuff like this 9 mil suppressor. Don't want to sell this improved surge protector. I actually think that's going to be coming... Uh, be, uh, that's going to come in handy. Um... I'm, oh, we can sell these watches. This is a good opportunity to sell some stuff. Actually, he doesn't have enough money to buy all my stuff. Crap. Ugh, man, that's a bad feeling. Okay, I think we're good. Save the game. What about you, friend? Oh, that's my friend. That is actually my friend. All right, let's let's do as I say and go to the uh, freedom base over here. This one thought he could get away by playing dead. I thought the monoliths were mostly like brain dead. I didn't think they had, they would actually talk in comms. I wonder what that graphical thing is going on. It's it's very strange. Hello, friend. You guys are freedom, right? Yep. Okay, so this is a freedom base. This is a new new location. I guess there's one stash already here, so I'll go and grab that stash and then call it there. It's a good enough place to call it. Is it on the other side? It better not be on the other side of this wall. I, I swear to God. Okay. Is it? Okay, what was that? All right, we've got a tourist jacket. I don't know what, what this is really. And then ammo case, always nice, I think, I guess. Oh, and three decorated jewelry boxes. That's really good money. And I need to drop something. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I should uh, maybe look up some of these jack, these these armor pieces before I disassemble them, because they could very well be better than what I am currently using. I just don't know. It's difficult for me to to know. Um. Unfortunately, I just don't have the room to keep everything right now. I should not have done this stash. Damn it. I am a victim of my own greed. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disassemble this uh, jacket. Let me guess, I am still 30 pounds overweight. Oh my God. What is taking up so much room? The ammo case, the ammo case is what's doing it. Oh my God. All right, well, I'll have to figure this out in my own time. I'll see you guys next time. And definitely hit that like and subscribe and uh, have a good one. I'll see you next time in the zone.